Hi, my name is Shayan Sahini. I'm a master's student in architecture department. I have got my master degree in civil engineering from Wakhan University. During this course, we'll be talking about sustainable neighborhood, sustainable neighborhood development. At the end, we're proposing a project with a sustainable neighborhood in the area in Iran. So let's just get to it. Sustainable neighborhoods are the neighborhoods of the future. As the world becomes more and more urbanized, there is a growing need to create a great place that contributes to a healthy environment and supports a strong community. It is safe to say that a sustainable neighborhood goal is to be visionary and work to better the economics, cultural, innovative, social, and environmental vitality. A sustainable neighborhood is a neighborhood that is socially, environmentally, and economically healthy, a safe, well planned place, and good to last for a long time. Sustainable neighborhood characteristics. As there are many sustainable neighborhoods around the world with different quality conditions and different characteristics and features, there are some common characteristics between sustainable neighborhoods that you will get to. First, sustainable neighborhoods are socially cohesive and diverse, with a mix of housing types and employment opportunities that are offering for different people, such as people with low incomes, family, young entrepreneurs, or elders. Two. Sustainable neighborhoods give priority to walking, cycling, and transit for cleaner transport opportunities. 2. Sustainable neighborhoods encourage energy efficiency with the help of using wind turbines and solar panels. 4. Sustainable neighborhoods promote efficient use of resources and materials that have been used in construction for waste management or energy resources. 5. Sustainable neighborhoods have residential areas located close to recreational and commercial services with pedestrian and cycling connections to save energy, reduce pollution, and help the neighborhood economy of itself. As there are many advantages and benefits the environment and human being can get from sustainable neighborhood, in this article we will briefly explain some of them. First, individuals will be able to walk to work, to school, and to do their shopping to get their day-to-day needs. This does not mean that they cannot drive. The distance will be close enough that they can walk, and walking so often will lead to a healthier lifestyle. 2. Storm water will be infiltrated on site, and even the streets will be designed to shed water from an adjusted infiltration trench. This means less time maintaining the system adjusted to houses. In continuing of the advantages of sustainable neighborhood, fewer automobile travel miles will result in less pollution in neighborhood A. And plants like removes carbon dioxide from the air and replace it with oxygen. And sustainable neighborhoods are typically designed with larger presence of green areas of plants, trees, and non green areas. 5. If the individual's home is also sustainable, the entire community can live a carbon free lifestyle. But actually, there is no such thing as disadvantage of a sustainable neighborhood. And even if it's managed correctly, the cost of developing sustainable communities and sustainable neighborhoods will be less than the contemporary neighborhoods that we are seeing nowadays. Let's get to the elements of a sustainable neighborhood. Let's start with movement. Planning for a sustainable movement includes consideration for transit, automobiles, pedestrians, cyclists, and people with disabilities and abilities. Sidewalks. Pedestrians friendly streets are critical to encourage people to do walking as a cleaner transportation mode. Public transit. An effective and reliable transport system is required as a viable alternative to the private way. Bicycle routes. A constant and associated off-road bike road system can be utilized for sporting and driving cyclists. Well-lit and sheltered bicycle parking facilities on public and private property are also necessary to increase bike movements. Land. Sustainable neighborhood planning must respond appropriately to a range of urban contexts, including creating entire new creative communities, reurbanizing suburban communities to create a new place to live in. As density. Density is a measure of land use intensity based on its area and the amount of activity and its intermediary for effectiveness. Accomplishing higher densities implies we are accomplishing more with less land. In mix of form, while striving to achieve more efficient land use, it is also essential and critical to ensure that the broader spectrum of the population can be met on the land, 
residential development in a sustainable neighborhood requires different house structures and residences to keep individuals locally through all phases of life. As another important element of a sustainable neighborhood, we should consider talking about infrastructures. Green energy, wind and solar energy are only two most common forms of green energy structures and by no means exhaust of the possibilities for green energy technologies. District energy. District energy is using the waste heat generated by industrial processes or electricity generation for interior heating. Vacuum waste disposal. Vacuum waste disposal systems are another early design consideration that can result in considerable waste disposal efficiencies. Sustainable neighborhoods are designed with inflatable tubes connected to each building and such waste streams to central plants. Before getting to the project that has been proposed and designed, there is a checklist for neighborhood sustainability that has been prepared. Although that we talk about elements that have been explained briefly, asking these questions can help maintain the sustainable neighborhood in a better way. Let's start our checklist with complete and connected. An exclusive neighborhood means that the neighborhood offers a choice of housing type suitable for all households and all ages of residents. Moreover, the neighborhood contains homes, shops, workplaces, and residents have many choices for getting around as walking, cycling, transit, and primary vehicles. Characteristics to consider in complete and connected is there variety in the housing types, such as housing for seniors, affordable housing, rental housing, condos, live work options, maybe. Is there a variety of workplace within the neighborhood? Are the blocks short so that we have a choice of routes to any given destination? Can most residents walk from their homes to shop and services such as banks, hairdressers, recreation facilities, school and workplaces? Is there public transit, trails, bike paths and bike lanes within the convenient distance of residents' home and local businesses? Are parks and green spaces easily accessible from the neighborhood? Second, in our checklist, we can get talk about land efficient and transit friendly. Shop services and other land uses are gathered together and close to where many people live and work, so walking to them is easy, and transit can conveniently provide the neighborhood. And are the neighborhood covering enough jobs and residents compared to the amount of land the neighborhood occupies? Characteristics to consider land efficient and transit friendly. Are there more than 50 jobs and these residents in the neighborhood? Are non-residential users clustered together or located along main roads? Are there shops in a variety of sizes in the neighborhood? Does the neighborhood have public transit service? Are there bus on the rise of way on the main roads? The most people in the neighborhood live within a short walk of a transit stop. Green and healthy. The neighborhood contains protected natural features and green areas, and the neighborhood is designed to maintain good water quality in neighboring rivers and streams. Moreover, finally, in the health section, the neighborhood protects humans, animals, and plants. Characteristics to consider in evaluating green and healthy are there parks and trails that allow residents and visitors to the neighborhood to walk and bike in green areas? Are there natural areas in good condition? Are important natural features such as stream, unique landform, or shoreline protected from destruction or pollution? Measures in place to protect water quality such as stormwater management. Safe and comfortable. People want to walk in the neighborhood because the area feels safe. There are exciting things to look at, there are always other people around, there are public benches to rest on, and walkways that are sheltered from rain, wind, and sun. The development should be designed on a scale that does not overpower pedestrians to allow people to see and be seen, which contributes to pedestrians' safety. Characteristics to consider in safe and comfortable are the sidewalks on the street, do the building that pedestrians see as they walk at them be enclosed or sheltered, does traffic move at a pace that makes people feel safe, are there laneways or garages so that people do not have to park in front of the houses, are public areas with lit during the evening, are parks and open spaces visible from public streets. To continue our checklist, we can talk about adaptable and recycled. The neighborhood is likely to 
age gracefully over time, developing the neighborhood and adding new uses, residents and workers while keeping the best of its tradition. Some of the characteristics affected. Other properties available on the main roads have to accommodate new shops and services. Due to the use of the main intersections, great places that attract pedestrians and many users. Thus, the layout of the neighborhood includes land that could accommodate buildings of varying size. Does the neighborhood contain buildings of different ages? Are there heritage buildings or properties in the area? To plan for the neighborhood allow for the addition of new buildings and services. In the last part of our checklist for sustainable neighborhood, we can talk about energy and resource efficiency. Energy and resource efficiency in the neighborhood design to help residents and workers minimize water and non-renewable energy sources every day. Buildings are designed so that they do not need as much air conditioning in summer or heating in winter and are built with sustainable materials, which means reduced energy use from non-renewable source means reduced greenhouse gas emissions. Characteristics to consider in evaluating energy and resource efficiency. Are there any of the buildings made with recycled materials? Is there a district energy system in the neighborhood? Are there LEED certified buildings in the neighborhood? Are there any other green buildings? Are there any buildings with green roofs or rooftop gardens? Do any buildings have solar panels or wind turbines on the roof? Here there is a comparative analysis between some of the sustainable neighborhoods around the world with the SWOT analysis that we will see in this chapter and the next one. My proposed project for a sustainable neighborhood is located in Yazd province in Iran, named as a Star Garden. Yazd province with an area of 130,000 square kilometers is located in the center of Iran. According to the latest division of the country, it is the first adult city and believed to be the second most historic city in the world. Yazd has a warm, dry and desert climate and temperature, changes in summer and winter, and even their night and day is high and variable, and this is one of the most climate characteristics of the region. We have last climatic analysis in here with average maximum temperature is in July 39.5 degree and average minimum temperature is in January with minus 0.8. Average maximum rainfall is in September with 60 mm and average minimum rainfall is in June with 1 mm. In relation to the wind axis, the best orientation of the buildings and structures in Yazd is between 20 and 45 degrees with the north and south axis in the northeast direction of the southwest. And in relation to solar radiation using calculated radiant energy on different surfaces, appropriate orientation is between 20 and 30 degrees with north and south axis in the northeast direction of southwest. The site that has been chosen for the design of sustainable neighborhood, which is in the city of Yazd and located approximately 2 km away from the city center near the Technical University of Ramali and the University of Fine Arts. Here we have the climatic analysis of the chosen site. As we can see, the sun path direction, the wind direction, the noise pollution, and the green areas around the sun. Here on the left side, we see the sun pads during summer and the sun pad during winter as it's shown in the photo. Here we have some footages and images of the chosen site. Here we have our site plans. Let me explain this to start garden sustainable neighborhood a bit in detail. There is a residential and commercial complex right in the middle of it in order to provide accommodation and job opportunities for the residences. Here we have two types of villas, one on the right side as we can see here and one here in the middle. There is also low income and affordable housing for low income families here as we can see on the left side shown. And here we have apartment buildings on us. Five black like seven story buildings. Here, around the residential and commercial buildings, there are various shops that are available to create job opportunities, like starting from grocery stores to maybe even a bank. There is artificial lake 
playground for children. There, are, there is a basketball court, tennis court, and swimming pool that has been provided. There is a bicycle route in the streets of this neighborhood. There have been the bicycle parking lots, open parking lots, and indoor parking lots that have been prepared for personal vehicles. As well as this whole project has been on the solar panel and every building having solar panels on the roof and on the villas the solar panels can be on the roof or in the park and the water rain water collection and grey water treatment are all happening in the authorities that is happening right here. All the structures and buildings in this neighborhood are equipped with solar panel system on the roof as well as on the villa types. As I've been mentioned before, there are solar panels fitted on the ground floor as well as on the roof. In the star garden, grey water treatment has been a priority in order to make the neighborhood more sustainable. The water treatment plants as they are located in the facilities. Considering the safety of pedestrians, the streets in the neighborhood are not wide in order to keep the maximum speed limit low as well as the street has a quality for cycling to maintaining a better air quality for the air. Here we can see the features of the sustainable neighborhood that we are proposing. Residential and commercial complex that is located in the middle of the project is a 16-story residential and commercial building which is helping to create a job opportunities for the residences. And there is an amphitheater located in the middle for small gatherings or maybe meetings. There is a small artificial lake in the middle and containing two floor indoor park. Here are the plans, the sections and elevation of the commercial and residential complex has been provided. Here on the left side we can see the parking plans, on top left is the residential area plan, on the top right is the lobby plan, and down here, down on the right left side, is the commercial area plan. As well as we see the views of the building. As I've been mentioned before, there are two types of villas in the Star Garden neighborhood for high income families or people who prefer living in a villa type of house. Each type of villa contains a three-story building and the energy required per unit is provided by a solar panel system that are located on the roof and on the garden. Here we see the floor plans on the right side, sections of them on the left side, and more elevations, more plans, and more sections. And here we can see some imaginary images of the villas. Apartment has been designed for average income families and some families that rather live in a tall apartment and villa type of house. Seven story apartments in five blocks. And all the apartments contain two bedrooms and three bedroom units. Parking connected to this apartment are outdoor and all the sold all the energy required by this apartment are provided by the solar panel. Here on the right side we see the flat floor plans and the section and the elevation. Here as well we see the, some more floor plans, some section, some elevation and an image of the building. Services and facilities in the neighborhood are basketball court, tennis court as well as an indoor swimming pool, children playground to encourage people and youth to do sports and the environment of the neighborhood is filled with evergreen trees as well as seasonal trees in order to make the environment pleasant and nice. Let's watch a video about their projects.
take my time and thank my professor for sending me this.